I would uh, see myself as a typical Israeli, Sabra, if you want. I was born there in 1945 and then grew up with the state. And uh, I was studying law in 1967 when the, when the war broke. Until, until then, I would say I was a normal, regular Israeli. And when the, once the war broke, I realized that we, are, we were, we, the students, the people, were misled before the war to believe that this is a war for peace. Israel didn't think of, of uh, creating peace. And I found myself having to decide whether my humanity prevails when I saw what happened to the Palestinians in the occupied territories or my Israeli um, uh, loyalty would prevail. And I chose my humanity. Therefore, when I became a lawyer, it was only natural that I would <coughs> try to defend the underdogs, the Palestinians, while thinking all the time of a possible, the only possible solution to the conflict there, one um, equality, two or one state, it doesn't make a difference really, but freedom for the Palestinians, a recognition of what we have caused to them, and ability to continue together with equality. I represent our Palestinians who are acting against the occupation in this way or another, or that have been tackled with problems that the occupation created. Like if we talk about Jerusalem, uh, the Jerusalemite Palestinians have t difficulties in getting a position, in getting their rights, in getting their uh, identification cards, in getting family reunification, for instance. So these are the civil aspects of the occupation that I'm also dealing with. Beside, of course, people who have committed uh, security offenses, as they call it, and I believe that I'm obliged to defend them. I believe they have the right to act against the occupation, like every person on this earth has the right to act against any occupation. And uh, I don't try to condemn them. I try to be near them and have the, my ability as a lawyer and recruit the Israeli um, law to defend them. The struggle continues. We know it very, very well. So. Uh, it was a highlight in the career, undoubtedly. There are not too many uh, winnings we can talk about. There are many failures. And altogether, I think that the Israeli society has failed to rebut and fight against occupation as we should.